Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Well, I have a small bowl of spaghetti sauce left over from last night's supper. At least I think I do. Do I have still have that or did you eat it? Hi? It's there in the okay, so I'm going to make a pizza. So let's start with the dough. Okay, so we're just going to put our, you know, about a cup and a third of warm water in there. A tablespoon of sugar. You pass me the loose salt there. And a half a tablespoon of yeast, or roughly. Here's our dough hook. Now my yeast is ye my yeast. My yeast is instant, so it doesn't necessarily have to proof. So we're going to get this going. And I'm just going, I'm not even going to measure the flour. I'm just going to start putting it in until it's, until it's the consistency I want. So we'll start with a bit of flour to get things going. We'll put it on stir for the moment. Oh, that, that was stir. Okay. I'm going to put in a teaspoon of salt. Well, not even. A three-finger pinch of salt. And another two finger pinch. So about a half a teaspoon of salt. And this is where we're going to get creative. Because my spaghetti sauce is just spaghetti sauce. It doesn't have that heavy oregano pizza flavor. And I don't have any oregano. I'm going to use the La Dolce Vita Chili Pepper Olive Oil. And I'm going to put just put a couple of tablespoons in there. Just to give the crust some zip. Zippity doo da. So now I'm just going to start putting in the flour. You pass me a spatula, dear. Like a little one or a long handle one. Doesn't matter. Just not a plastic one. I would rather have my silicone one. Yes. Perfect. Thank you, dear. Got to be careful opening cans of mushrooms. I cut myself really badly last night. Could have used a couple of stitches, but we got to it right away. Going to the hospital is not an option because they'll make you sit in the um, waiting room for hours and, and it already starts to heal open by then. All right, let's get this on knead now. I think I might have put just a little bit too much flour. Nope, nope, it's looking pretty smooth and elastic. Actually, it's looking pretty sticky. I just want a little, another third of a cup of flour, and it should be perfect. Push this down. Yeah, that's, uh, oh, that's nice and sticky. That's how I like pizza dough. Nice and sticky like this. You want to save a, a half a cup of flour for dealing with this lovely sticky dough. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit more of this olive oil, just a drizzle. No, I should have grabbed my dough scraper. Noreen would be laughing at me if she watched me. And I'm just going to pop this around in that oil a little bit. And then I'm going to put a plastic bag over this. And I'm going to, you can put it in your oven with just your light on, or I have a keep warm setting on my oven that gets it up to 100 degrees. I put it on keep warm and then I shut it off once it reaches temp. So I'm going to put a plastic bag over this and there is our pizza dough ready to rise before I go on live stream. Chili pepper pizza dough, daddy. Yay. So here's our dough. And I'm just going to scrape down the sides. And then I'm going to get some gloves on because I have a cut on my hand I want to protect. We'll let that rest for a second. The pan Briar loves to use for his pizzas. Don't throw away parchment paper if you've ripped it off by accident. Parchment paper is reusable if you wash it. So, here we go. This is what we want. Now. Yeah. 
we're going to take our chili flavored zippity doo dah pizza dough here. Rise a little bit longer while I get my veg ready. My toppings. This is my home canned bacon. I'm just going to take the lid off this and rinse the fat away. It's cooked, but it's not crispy, which makes it perfect for pizza toppings. So this is a kind of a leftover makeover meal, guys. All right. Um, this is leftover spaghetti sauce from last night. Here's the bacon. I rinsed not all of the fat, but a good portion of it away with hot water. Mushrooms, peppers from the freezer, a half an onion, and I've got a little bit of Parmesan cheese left in this bag, and I'm going to grate some ch uh, marble cheddar if I need it. No, this is not your grandmother's Italian pizza. This is my Italian pizza. So here we go now. This is my pizza pin. Shoot. Get some flour on there. Well, that's, that's bigger than what you'd get in the store as a large. All right. There's our pizza dough. Now we're gonna take over our leftovers, take our leftover spaghetti sauce. All right, we're gonna put this. This is the leftover spaghetti sauce. So there's already like chunks of meat. We'll pull these out while we spread it out. Chunks of hamburger. That'll that will help us spread this out. Doesn't have to be thick, folks. Does not have to be thick. And remember, we flavored the dough with um, chili pepper olive oil. This bacon, let's try and squeeze some of the fat back into the jar. But this will crisp up now. Looks awful, I know, but trust me. This will crisp up. And I'm just gonna kinda smooth that right in to the sauce that's bacon. We're gonna the take, taste there, the right? taste will be there, that's right. Hard to believe that was six slices of bacon. We're going to take this left, the hamburger from the sauce, and we're going to bust that all up. Because I just took it out because it wasn't going to spread for me, but all the wet work is done. I'm going to take my glove off. And this is just spears of onion that I put through the smallest cutter on the chopper. We don't want too much raw or frozen vegetables because it makes a lot of water. Right? So they're more like for flavor. And I'm going to save some of these mushrooms for Daddy's breakfast tomorrow because I'm going to make him an omelette with some bacon. Since we got a deal on bacon. Now, the frozen peppers. So we got frozen peppers, onions, mushrooms, bacon, ground beef. You know what we almost forgot? We almost forgot my homemade Italian seasoning. See, the thing about store-bought pizzas is they're more cheese than anything else. We want more veg. All right, so now we got this last bit of Parmesan cheese in the bag. We may not have to grate any cheddar at all. Look at that. What? Oh, all right, but. Just a little bit for daddy, he wants a bit of cheddar. Take a look, just a little piece of marble cheddar. Now, I don't think this whole pizza costs $5. I'm gonna say, cause these are 388, and this is an eighth. So this is like 25 cents worth of, or, or uh, 75 cents worth of, ch ouch, watch the fingers, Bath. God, they're having a rough week, my fingers. And we're just gonna lightly grate this piece of cheddar over the surface so that Papa can see that there's cheddar on here. Oops, I dropped a piece. And we take it all the way around. And this is going into a 375 degree oven for about 35 minutes. 
Okay, our timer has gone off. This took 35 to 40 minutes. And because it was a lot of frozen and fresh, it was really juicy. So look at that. Oh my goodness. All right, let's get the pizza cut. All right, let's take Papa some pizza. Let's see what he's got to say about our $5 pizza. I'm going to say there was only six slices of bacon in that canned bacon. When I bought it, it was up. The peppers were $1.98 a bag, and I used a third of a bag. The Parmesan cheese was $5 a bag. I used a quarter of a bag. So I'm going to say this whole pizza did not cost $5. All right, so let's get some to Papa. I'm already in my chair, folks. So Daddy's going to try a bite of his pizza. Hot, baby. Oh. Oh. But awesome. Thank you, darling. Five bucks. And there's, it's, an, it's as big as an extra large. Awesome. Thanks, baby. Well, there you have it. From the man himself. $5 pantry pizza. Try it. You'll love it. Take care. God bless.